Hi, it's Sandra, and tonight I'm going to show you how to use soap bubbles in your gel manicure. I decided that I would finally try this. I've seen this on YouTube a number of times, and I've always wanted to try it, and I've just never taken the time to do it. First of all, I don't really like using gel nail polish because of having to take it off, but I do use it for foils, and I use it for... The metallic powders and now I'll be using it for these little bubbles and it's really cool you use actually use dish soap the bubbles just make an impression on the gel polish and I think it's really cute so I have one hand that I completely finished and one hand that I have not done anything to so I'm going to take it step by step and show you how to do it the things you're going to need is some alcohol and this is the um, 91 percent and I got this from Meyer. You can get this anywhere. You're going to need some 100% acetone. You're going to need some dish soap, any dish soap. And we're going to make a little formula that's going to make your bubbles. And what I did, I'm just going to tell you quickly how to do this, is you just take a couple, a few drops of any kind of dish soap you're going to put in, if you had an eyedropper, I'd say two, uh, maybe two drops of the, of the alcohol and two drops of the acetone in with the dish soap. And then you're gonna add some water. And I would just add a little water at a time. When I added water, a little teeny bit of water, I did not get the suds. So I had to add a little bit more and a little bit more. And finally I got the right amount of water that I actually was able to get some suds. So this seems to work good. I did this hand with it and all I have to do is shake it up to get some more bubbles. If you've never used gel polish before, um, it's just messing around uh, with it and getting used to it. I started off with a UV lamp and now I have an LED lamp. I don't see the difference except for the LED lamp is actually smaller. The UV lamp was really huge. I think that either one works. Probably get the cheapest. Um, the one that I have currently is one that I got for free and it works fine. I have a Maj Podge of polishes, the gel polishes. I actually have some from Maniology. Before they got rid of their gel polishes, I bought like six or eight of these polishes for a really cheap price. They were trying to get out their inventory, so I got a few of those. I'm also using ASP polish, gel polish that I got at Sally Beauty. And I have this Jing Ting polish, gel polish, that I got for free with the little uh, UV light. I have a number of different polishes from different brands. I think they're all good. I have no problems with them, but I don't do gel very often. Let's go ahead and start with uh, the process. And the first thing I'm going to do is my nails have been cleaned. I filed them. I'm going to take some of the alcohol and I'm just going to put it on my nails and that'll clean the surface before I start with the gel polish. I'm gonna wipe each one. All I'm gonna do is start with the base coat and here's the base coat by ASP. And I'm just gonna apply this to my nails. If you haven't done gels before, the big thing with gel polish is you don't want to get the gel polish on, the, on your skin. If you get the gel polish on your skin, then it's more likely that the polish will lift up. So you want to come just close to your cuticles. You want to come close to the side and you just want to do all of the nails like this. So you don't need a whole lot of gel polish on the brush because you don't want it to flood your cuticles. So I'm just going to go through and do all of the base coat and then I'll be back and then I'm going to put it under the lamp. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got my base coat on. So now I'm just going to stick it under my LED lamp and I'm going to do it for, it recommends 60 seconds, but I'm actually gonna do it for, uh, I'm sorry, recommends 30 seconds for an LED lamp. And I think it's 60 seconds if you have, or no, it's two minutes if you have a UV lamp. So I have the LED lamp, so I'm going to do it for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take it out. I'm going to start with my colors. Now the one thing good about this gel polish is if you're going to do two-tone nails, which I did on the ones with the bubbles, 
is you can just put both colors on and I used a small brush and kind of mixed it around so that it gave that effect of blending and then put it under the lamp. It's done. You don't have to mess around with it. It doesn't dry until you put it under the LED under the lamp so you have time to have a bunch of polish on there and make it look like swirls of water or the um, ombre or whatever it is that you want to do. Okay, so here are my nails. I just, all I have on there is the base coat. You can see on my nails, I did the my pointer finger and my ring finger in a solid blue. So I won't worry about those. I will wait on those. And I want to start right in with the bubble effect, which we'll go ahead and do on my middle finger. I took the darker polish, the darker blue and a light blue. And those are the two colors that I used. And what I'm going to do is, even though this says purple on the top, this is actually a blue. So I'm going to take this blue and this is going to go on my middle finger. And this stuff is really thick. Um, what I'm going to do is just kind of put a bunch on the top. Kind of I don't want to really blob it on, but I want it on there thick enough that you can see it and that there's enough to spread around once I get the other color on. I actually got this too, too far down, so I'm going to take this and take it off. And that's the great thing about the gel polish, too, is that you can, you know, until you put that under the lamp, it's it's just wet polish. So I got the dark blue on and now I'm going to take the light blue and I'm going to put that on. I'm going to be a little generous on this as well and I'm just going to kind of, I don't want to get my brush messed up so I'm just going to kind of put it on there. And then I'm going to take my little detail brush that I actually got from Maniology and what I did was I actually took the light blue and kind of pushed it up into the dark blue and then vice versa. And then I look like I missed a little bit over here. So I'm going to kind of smear this up this way. You can really mess around with this and see how you want to to bring the polish up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to make sure before I put this under the light, I'm going to kind of flip my nail over so that way it levels a little bit quicker. One thing too is when you do the tip on this, which I forgot to do, I'll do it with the, uh, the next polish, but you want to do the tip first and then do the rest of the nail. Okay, so it kind of it's leveled out. It looks pretty good. So that's my that's my middle one. So I'm gonna end up putting some um, bubbles on that. So I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna go on to the next one. Let's get the right color here. Do my pinky, and I'm just gonna do this with the three nails that I want to give this effect to. Again, I'm gonna put some on here. Okay, then I'm going to take the light stuff. And then however you want to do it, I'm going to take my detail brush. And I think I'm going to swirl. I'm going to bring some up this way. And then I'm going to kind of flip it over, make sure that it levels out a little bit. And then I can see where on the side I have a little bit of a flooding right here. So I'm going to take some acetone and I'm going to wipe this off. So that's off my skin before I use the, before I cook it under the UV light. Maybe put a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit more of this light in here. 
just going to take some on my little detail brush and lay it in here. Okay, that's it. And then I got to do my thumb. Same process. Start with my dark blue one. You can see already that I have too much blob down the side, but we'll take care of that after we're done. Take my light. Flip it over a little bit. Because remember, with this gel, it's not going to dry until you put it under the light. So you have lots of time to work with it. Take this, my detail brush again. Pull some of this in here. And then again, I'm just going to get all the excess off the sides. Oh, looks like I missed a section over here. So I'm going to take some of this extra, just put it on here. All right, take some of this off, a big blob here. Take off this one. Don't want this on the sides here. I'm going to let this sit for just a couple of seconds so that way I can make sure that all the excess is kind of out of there. You can still see that it's still leaking here, leveling. All right, while that's doing its thing, I'm also going to paint my other nails. So I'm going to do, and I can see on this pinky that there's some. All right. So on my pointer finger, I'm going to use the light blue, this one. Try not to forget to cap your tip. I'm going to flip this one over and then I'm going to do our medium I'm going to do the medium blue on my ring finger. So now I'm going to go back over these and clean them up a little bit and then I'm going to put them in under the lamp. Okay, so I've cleaned it all up and now I'm just going to stick it under the light, the LED light, and it does call for 30 seconds, but I don't know why I feel more comfortable with 60. So I'm just going to put it in the LED lamp and then we'll do the next step, which will be the bubbles. Okay, so these have been cured and obviously on these two fingers, I'm going to go back and I'm going to give them a second coat. I'm not going to give a second coat to the other three fingers that I'm going to do the bubbles on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gel polish that's white and I'm going to put this on my little palette here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin this down with my gel top coat. So I'm going to put some over here to the side. And you, if you thin it, it's up to you how much you thin it because you don't want it to cover your blue. So you want to make it and put a little bit more top coat in here. And again, for your bubble mixture, you're going to do equal parts of the alcohol and the acetone and just a couple drops of dish uh, dish soap and then just a little bit of water and when I say equal parts of the acetone and the alcohol I mean like if you had an eyedropper two drops of each okay so I've thinned that out and what I found that was that when I used a brush I didn't like 
the texture of the brush on here. So I actually got a the uh, fingernail polish brush to do this. So you're just gonna pick this up and you're gonna go lightly over and you want to see it. You want to have, you want to see the white. You just don't want it to be just solid white. So you wanna be able to see the blue through it. So I'm gonna put this on here. Try to get it all over wherever I want the bubbles to be, which I want them to be all over. All right, and now I'm gonna add my bubbles. So I'm gonna take my bubbles and I'm going to shake them up because that's what forms the little bubbles. I'm gonna open up the top and I'm gonna squeeze the bubbles without dumping the liquid onto my nail. So let's get it up here so you can see. So see how I'm getting the bubbles just directly on my nail? Make sure it's pushed over so that the whole, oh, see now I tilted it. When you tilt it, that's what happens is the liquid comes out. Still need some up here. Okay, so now I got the bubbles on there and I'm gonna put it under my light and I'm gonna cook it for 60 seconds again. You can see my little bubbles coming out here. Put this aside. I'm gonna do the same to my thumb and to my um, middle finger. Okay, so here it is. Here's the little the suds and all I'm gonna do is take my acetone again I'm going to wipe off the extra suds. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with my, my middle finger brush. I'm going to put the white on there. I'll take my bubbles. Alright, and here's the other bubbles. And I'm going to wipe off the bubbles. So there's the bubbles in the middle finger. And then my last one is going to be this one. Okay. Bubbles. This is the hardest part. Try not to touch the finger, your th whatever finger you're doing this on. So let's see, get these bubbles out without getting water on them and without touching anything. All right, and there's the thumb with the bubbles. And I'm gonna stick this under. I'm just gonna stick my thumb under this time. All right, and here's the last one. Here's my thumb. All right, and there you go. And this is, um, once I'm done with this, I'm going to, I'm gonna still clean up a little bit. And then I'm going to put a second coat on these two nails. And I'm actually gonna see if I can redo this one with some more bubbles because I touched the side of it. So let's see if that works. I have not ever redid it. So let's see if I put some more stuff on here, some more white, just on, the place where I touched it. I take some bubbles and I try to get it on here in that one spot. And I'm going to stick it underneath the UV light. So the hard part about this is making sure that you don't pour the water on the water mixture with the um, alcohol and the acetone onto your nail and you don't touch it once you've got the gel polish on it. So those are probably the hardest things about this. This is the first time I've ever done it. I think it turned out great. I would definitely use gel again to do this. I just think it's a cool, cool texture. Okay. 
Yeah, it fixed it. So you don't see that spot where I smeared it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some more second coat to my other nails. Okay. All right, so those have leveled out pretty good. I'm going to stick these under the lamp. Okay. So I've got all the paint on now, all of my nails painted. And the next thing I'm gonna do is put a top coat on. So you wanna put a top coat on even the bubble nails. Just go under the UV lamp like you normally would. And you're done. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you buy any of the Manny Allergy products, make sure you use my discount code for 10% discount at NS10. And thanks for watching.